just want to share a video about discipline. At some point or sometime in your life, eventually you will have to create some form of discipline about yourself. So recently, as of late, I would say this past day, I just started. I've been getting back into fasting. I've been getting back into having a little more discipline on eating the right foods. Now, this might not be significant or valuable information to others, but we always have these clocks in our head or this time when we want to start something. Hey, I'm going to start doing this next week. I'm going to start doing this tomorrow. I'm going to start doing this in an hour or two. The best time is always now. Starting now creates discipline. Starting now creates discipline. I'll say that again. Starting now creates discipline. We have to begin to have some form of discipline about ourselves. One thing that I've learned from just being around the wrong groups of people is oftentimes you will find yourself trying to fit in when it's not meant for you to fit in okay oftentimes you'll find yourself trying to be a part of other groups organizations communities that don't fit you and it's not that you aren't disciplined in what you're doing it's just these other factors and things like that take away from your discipline you know today you're supposed to eat or work out. Today you're supposed to run. Today you're supposed to eat a certain type of fruit or veggie. Today you're supposed to stay in your room, not spend any money. Hanging around the wrong groups of people cause you to take your foot off the gas a little bit. And that in itself is you lacking discipline. You must understand everybody's journey is different. And the reason why everyone's journey is different is because, one, we're all starting at different starting points. Which doesn't matter. We are all running at a different pace, moving at a different pace. Which doesn't matter. Comparison is the killer of all joy. This is why you must learn to have some discipline and stay off social media. Stay away from your phone for a little bit. You have to work and build on yourself. And during this time, me learning about like discipline and things like that, you're gonna mess up, which is the biggest reality checks that you can possibly have. Those reality checks They're like a refresher, a reminder of, yeah, you've been effing up. Yeah, you've been slacking. And then it's just that thought that plays in your head of where you could be now, if only, if only, if only. Do you really want to live a life of regret or a period of regret missing out on the opportunity to win, to get ahead because you didn't have the discipline to remove yourself from friends at least for the time being yes everybody's hanging out partying having fun doing this and that but you spent your time reading and writing you spent your time educating yourself on how to get ahead you spent your time working on your skill you must also understand sometimes you're gonna feel as if you're missing out, as if you're left out of things, as, as if you're not included in things because your discipline creates focus. Your discipline and focus creates a drive. With all that 
being added together as far as like remembering what happened in your past and things like that. Use all of that to create a discipline and a focus about yourself to help you push towards a lifestyle that you want. And the thing is, there is no end goal. Always continue to seek improvement, continue to seek the bettering of your development of your life, whatever the case may be. But you must also one know that during the time of like you staying focused, getting right, you having discipline, there's going to come times where people may, you know, congratulate you along the way. Hey, you're doing a real good job. That is not the time to relax, take your foot off the brake, pat yourself on the back. You keep pushing and keep going towards the lifestyle that you want. You got to know and understand everybody doesn't have your best interests, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I read something the other day. It was saying how if you had gotten everything in your life, like whatever you dreamed of or wished for, if you gotten everything in your life, whether it be money, monetary, physical, material, whatever the case may be, would you still work hard? Would you still create that sense of belief in yourself? Because you have to understand when you're lost in the world and it's dark, it's lonely, you start building a self of confidence for yourself. You start finding a direction of light for yourself. You start finding a direction in which you want to go to succeed and to thrive. And it gets to the point where You start realizing that you never needed to fit in. You start realizing that you never needed the, the the depending factors that you thought you needed. Like you start realizing that everything and anything that you need done in this world, you can do by yourself. And along the way, you'll start meeting the right people. But how do you get to that point? It all goes back to having discipline. We have to be accountable for ourselves and have discipline. Discipline, discipline. This is why you have to learn how to stay in your own lane, stay in your own pocket, because you will end up finding or meeting or comparing yourself to others who one can portray it as if they have it that way, who can portray it as if their living life is this, this way and this way. And it doesn't be that sometimes. Sometimes it is. But you got to create a sense of discipline about yourself. Discipline over a long period of time creates success. Consistency. Discipline is nothing but staying consistent towards whatever you're working towards. Keep... Pushing, keep working. It's not always a push either. It's really just breaking stuff down to its simplest form and walking it. It's not hard. What I've learned and what I've heard from successful people is do not worry about the monetary. A lot of us feel like the monetary part is why we don't work hard, is why we don't have discipline. But if you stay disciplined, the results will come. What happens when you work out? You work out for a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. You might not see anything. It doesn't work like that. It's not, I'm going to do 100 push-ups today and tomorrow I'm going to look like the Incredible Hulk. It doesn't work like that. But if you do 100 push-ups every day for a year straight, take a picture when you first started and compare it to the picture at the end of December. You will see the results. And this is why, you know, having discipline and staying away from others sometimes to work on yourself is very important because the comparison is the killer. Comparing it to not just people that you are around, people that you see on TV, 
but also comparing it to where you was or what you don't have or comparing it to what you do have. You got to understand that miracles, dreams, achievements, accomplishments, certain things happen for those who stay diligent in what they want. I remember playing in high school, playing basketball, and I was so worked up about not having college offers to here and there. And randomly, I found a coach who helped me get to the next school. I can talk more about that story later, but it went from not having anything to being the one who went further than a lot of people. So discipline, 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 discipline.